So I'm commonly asked about roads inside of Magnet Office. Magnet Office has the ability for me to import road data from third party software. I have the ability to recreate the engineer's intent by manually keying in the information, and I have the ability to uh, actually create roadway data on my own, and that's what I want to look at. Now, there are many ways I can do this inside of Magna Office, but I want to focus on corridors specifically. Okay, so I'm going to keep this one uh, pretty simple. I'm simply going to insert a polyline. Uh, where I want. Now, the same would apply if I received the CAD file that had the polyline already drawn. Utilizing the corridor menu, I'm going to work left to right. I'm going to go to the corridor settings. Now, this is where I could input the data if that's what I had. So if I had the starting station and beginning values, I could key that data in, again, recreating the engineer's intent. In my case, I'm going to pick the line that was drawn. When I go to the vertical tab, I can see the vertical profile. And here, once again, I could key in based on what's in the plan set and recreate the engineer's intent, or I can key in from a design standpoint what I want this. If I have vertical curve information, I can key in the vertical curve. And now my horizontal and vertical alignments are done. I'll go to my template library, and I'm going to simply copy from my global library into my project, and we'll do a standard road or I could key in the template data. And then I can define where those templates are applied. What's nice about doing this in corridors is that everything is dynamically linked. So as changes are made or edits are made, the surfaces will update as do the profiles, cross sections, any other data that's linked together. Now I can step through the cross sections. and even apply the subgrade settings.
and there are my surfaces created. Now I can export those to TP3. I can send them to Magnet Field, to Pocket 3D, and begin to weigh that out. So Magnet Office has a lot of tools for, again, either importing the data from the engineer, land XML file is a great example, or data that's contained within the DWG file, if that's how I'm importing. I have the ability to create roadway type data using the information that's in CAD or using data that's in a printed plan set, for example, I can key in the information. And I also have the ability to um, to modify or create this data on the fly. If I were doing design build, maybe I just need to create an access road, for example. Everything can be dynamically linked. So again, if I modify, as I update, all of my surfaces update as well. For more details on the options available for roadway data inside of Magnet Office, as well as other workflows, please visit MyTopCon now.